welcome back to another episode of the Chewy Tours podcast. Today we are joined with nobody, literally nobody, nobody sitting in front of me, uh, just me, and that is because I just got back from traveling, a little bit of traveling, back in good old California, good old delicious sun on my face, in my mouth, um, in my eyeballs. Uh, it was really gloomy in Atlanta, spent about a week there, seven days, and then from there took a, took a plane, another plane to Texas, and then from Texas took another plane, spent five days there, five days there, and then in Vegas just for the night, then drove back here. First thing I did, other than recording this podcast, was get on my bike, ride to one of my local parks, and just literally touch grass, sit outside, like soak up the sun, just, uh, you know, shoveling it in my eyeballs, and it felt amazing. I don't get, oh, I don't get homesick, but I think what I I did experience and what I am experiencing is like weather homesickness. Look, it, it in California the extent of winter is it raining. That's pretty much it. And even then like people go absolutely nuts because they don't know how to drive in the rain. Um well, myself included because well, I don't I don't drive. I don't own a car. Uh yeah. It was gloomy, no vitamin D, didn't take any of it with me or while I was even there because nobody had any, which I'm actually a little concerned about because they should. Because, uh, yeah, I believe Texas is still undergoing a lot of snow, uh, black ice, which I've heard the term before, but I've never really seen it. Um, not, I wasn't really sure what it was. And... Those were the weather conditions out there for the last two days, and I'm sure it's still continuing on right now. People don't mess around in that weather. It start, it, Everything starts frosting. People stay home. Snow days. I've only seen it in movies, read it in books, but kids just stay home. That's, that's how it goes. You got to spend 30 minutes defrosting your car. I've never done that before. I had, uh, I, I spent 30 minutes using, using an ice scraper, bags of ice, ba- not bags of ice, bags of hot water to melt the ice on the windows and everywhere. Like I, hopefully first and last time, cause that was, uh, well, it was different. Don't have to do that here. Literally I could, I could walk outside in the middle of winter like how it is right now, in uh, shorts and a shirt. Actually, it's hot right now. <laughs> I, I literally should not be wearing this crew neck. Um, anyway, had a lovely time, an amazing time there. Um, and now you guys, hopefully you guys saw the video. I posted it already um, of my time in Atlanta, spent some time with my sister. I actually talk about her quite a lot just the way it gets brought up um so finally made it out there but then uh she moved back so she's here hanging out you'll probably see more videos with uh well both of my sisters now and uh they're friends but not crystal she was also in the video uh she's still going to be living out there in the military um hope hopefully she comes back soon i think uh Actually, I think in two weeks. I think she'll be here in two weeks. So we'll see her then. Anyway, um, still working on the Texas video. Um, not sure how that's going to turn out. I actually, I made a video last time I was there. Uh, if you've been, I don't know, following along or not, I don't expect you to take notes. That's weird. <laughs> but when I, I went to the same place for Christmas... Uh, about a month ago, and I made a video 
or took some videos rather and I put them in the editor I edited I edited a good a good portion of it it was really fun but then just halfway through I I decided to just stop I didn't toss it I didn't chuck it or anything like that and I, I didn't delete it I didn't clear out the recycle bin but it's just been sitting there uh, and now going back again I recorded some more videos but the weather was actually worse than last time I was there so I didn't get out much but I did I did take a lot of, of videos of like of the whole frost situation and I know people that are used to it probably well they, they probably don't care but I've never experienced that before so I, I had to take a video I was like icicles oh my god that's crazy and then I bit one that was off the roof and I realized that was such a terrible decision it was beautiful never seen anything like it before and then um, thought I was gonna take a video uh, create another separate video about being in Vegas but my sister and I just wanted to go home so we didn't really spend time there at all uh, kind of saw a little bit in the morning but we we're just driving out drove uh, all the way all the way back here they didn't build that train they didn't build that train from here to here to Vegas all right enough of uh, enough about that so hope so anyway wait, to wrap that up maybe maybe a Texas video I have no idea while I was out there um, a few people dropped music just side dropped um, well actually right now by the time this is being recorded you're gonna see this later Roku dropped that was uh, that was a few weeks ago which was absolutely amazing both of them both of their first solo projects that they're putting out and that is that's only the beginning for them uh, also some other people that drop music I don't want to talk about music too much at least in, in, in unless they're here Unless the people, uh, I, I'm going to have people on that are going to talk about music, and we'll we'll definitely talk about them. But so Josiah Boy and then uh, Roku dropping dropping the Roku tape. Uh, Seth Lorenzo, Kid Process, Pain of Melody, um, and just just everybody. Everybody's doing an amazing job. It's it's really. While I was gone and and seeing you know these things drop and I just I was I was eager to edit edit some videos so the Atlanta video actually I spent a lot of time a lot of time editing that I think more uh, the process is always it's it's usually long um, from usually like two hours of footage and just stripping it down into what I would hope is less than a, th than a is less than 30 minutes because then at that point people check out and honestly I'll go back I'll look at some of those videos and I'll just think yeah I didn't need to put that in there you know it's like James Cameron like did you really need to put that scene in Avatar 2 probably not did it look beautiful yeah it was unnecessary I didn't <laughs> so me <laughs> not me comparing myself to James Cameron um <laughs> what um so sorry dealing with cables here that's I mean that's part of the beauty of it editing seeing what's even worthy of keeping in a video and sometimes sometimes it Things are just a little bit more personal that I don't want to put out there. Um, and so I, I believe, or it is, I should say, it is the start of season two. That's the way I got it in my head. When you see those numbers, two, zero, one, 201, season two, episode one. Um, and for a lot of people... Um, a lot of my friends, a lot of the people that make music. I mean, it's just, it's the new year. Um, I've talked to some of them. A lot more drops to come. I mean, only the beginning. Even even people that have already in, um, 
how do I how do I put this? Like, have already been releasing music for a while. We're not gonna stop. <laughs> I mean, there's still there's still more music to be made. There's still more things to be talked about, said, um, and I hope I get them on more often. Especially people people you've already seen, people you haven't. I've been um, keeping my eye on quite a few people that I want to have on that you've never seen. Um, a few podcasters uh, those are always difficult to find at least people that that I resonate with even with artists it's um I don't think I've ever talked about this before but I like people have asked me whether it's um whether they've been on the podcast before or not and they ask me like hey can I get on the podcast I've said no a few times and that's pretty rare um even like especially people who have been on the podcast before um and it's for multiple reasons uh i don't need to talk about specifically but i think one is is when i see that it's um it feels corporate you know it doesn't feel like i don't feel like the love in it. I don't feel like there's there's really passion in the things that they're doing. And I know sometimes that's difficult to even know if you haven't talked to them, but sometimes you could I'm sure you've seen it before, just scrolling through social media. Everything is just a little too curated. Everything is just a little too perfect. Why is that why does why is everything edited? You know, there's nothing raw on it you shouldn't take especially you should not take social media too seriously at all and that's why that's why i deleted twitter um and i really like instagram so much uh other than the fact that just i would rather not be chronically online but i still i still do it i still scroll mindlessly just because because brain go burr, I don't know, even dopamine maybe. <clears throat> anyway, enough about that. What was I talking about before? Uh, oh my god, it's been two years of doing YouTube, releasing videos. Um, happy birthday. Two years of posting videos, podcasts, um, vlog type videos. Um, and that. That's also why it's, uh, well, like a season two. Works out nicely. Kind of get to track the progress year by year. Um, and so I've said it before about having more podcasters on here. Just people just people that make music. Just in more in line of the, th of the things that I do. Literally this. Uh, also... We Don't Exist, episode 20, I believe, just came out today, or is coming, it's coming out soon. Um, I want to give a big shout out to them, because they've been totally awesome. Uh, I mean, I, I, I look at where I'm at, like over 100 episodes, 120, and then they're barely at episode 20, like 100, 100 episode difference, but everybody even uh myself everybody that's making art uh we're just starting and i hope to find more people that are just like in a in a similar position trying to do it diy and so we could just all help each other it's the only way this thing works the only way if we help each other out reposting i talk about it all the time if you like something repost it simple doesn't take a lot of your time you're already on social media anyway you're already there you know if i was on twitter i would be retweeting everything uh so i mean i do that on instagram all the time and um just it's nice you shouldn't need it but it's like the validation of especially when you're first starting out of whether people even like what you're doing because you don't even know there's absolutely no feedback except for maybe maybe your friends 
But even then, I'm pretty sure a lot of them don't watch my videos. If you are, hi. How's it? <laughs> How you doing? I think we're hanging out later today. If these, are, if these are the same friends I'm talking about, <laughs> and even even just everybody that I've that I've even spoken to on the podcast before, those are really the only people that that I know watch. And I'm okay with that. I'm totally okay with not knowing who watches. But the people that I do have discussions with, um, of just about the things that we do. One person specifically who is actually going to be on the podcast soon. Um, we'll probably talk this talk about this as well. But um, it's not the fact that you need praise, but just the validity of what you do is. Um, how do I put this, is you're in people's minds. You know, people appreciate what you do. This, uh, I mean, call it entertainment. It's what it is. Hopefully for the next, you know, 15, 30 minutes that I'm talking, uh, you have someone, I don't know, someone to talk to, just a voice in your ear. Maybe I'm in the car. Maybe on your on your run, your walk, or working. I used to absolutely love doing that. I used to love um, just putting podcasts in, putting my headphones in, not having to talk to anybody, and then just listening to people talk, whether it be bullshit um, or actually uh, some things I need to learn. Books, actually, working. I I I never really like to listen to books. I was definitely into more listening to people comedy wise just it was the headspace that I wanted to be in you know I didn't want it to be all dreadful corporate America I didn't want to let that get to me too much um but even some actual like wisdom being spoken um sometimes it happens here I don't know today maybe can I let me see. Can I drop? Can I drop any truth bombs today? Uh, if I remember my my philosophy classes that I took that I never took, um, go drink some water. That's uh, that's number one. That is top of the list. Top of the list. Go drink some water. If you haven't, go do it. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers to everybody out there. Like I was saying before, go meet some people. Go find other like-minded people, um, especially those that are trying to do um, the things that you're trying to do. That was very repetitive way of saying that. That's also something I need to work on and something that I am still working on just the way uh the way to just speak talk expand my vocabulary um and hopefully not to not to seem like much of an idiot when i'm talking on here at least not to stumble over my words i think that's like the main thing when i'm doing these but i get so excited sometimes especially talking to multiple people or even just one-on-one -on -one. Uh, something that I really want to speak upon or I'm passionate about. And I, but that's the fun part right there. That's like when you when you don't know what to say next, when you stumble over your words, when you reach a, a, a topic you've never talked about before, and then that's uh, that's like the improv. That's that's where like the magic happens of to put it like those those clips on social media that you see and they just they bang they hit like it felt it felt real and it we just so happened to be recording it there's there's a lot of moments like that that I'm also trying to transfer into making videos um I just wish they were maybe not maybe have you okay okay have you seen that episode in black mirror where they all have cameras in their eyes and then 
God, it, it might have been the first episode of of the most recent season. I know they stopped making them, but the but I think it was like episode, uh, the most recent season. And so they have cameras in their eyes, and they're like taking videos and stuff. And then he goes, I think he he went to an airport, and the way to the screen the way the screening process to work is they would take the information that was saved from all the videos that were saved from his eyes, and then they just kind of reviewed it to make sure he wasn't doing anything illegal or doing anything illegal. And so sometimes things will happen, and I just think, damn it. Damn it. <laughs> uh, darn it. I wish I was, like, recording that. And most of the time I do, like, I... I do a pretty good job not having the camera in people's faces all the time, but sometimes, like my my hands are not fast enough to pull out my phone, capture it. It's got to pass. That's what it was. It is what it is. And also, got to think about. Well, it takes time to edit. The majority of the time, it's like an hour to two hours of footage that I need to cut and figure out how it's gonna look. Because the majority of the time, I have no idea. I have no idea what it's going to look like. I have, an, I have a slim idea uh, of, of what it may look like. And I think at the end of the day, if it comes out good, it comes out good. That's, I can't, like I said, sometimes you just like leave in the raw stuff, but that's, that's part of the process of like, is is how do you has how do you make it feel authentic because well because it is and i hope i hope i'm not portraying something of them like as i'm being fake uh well and if i was then i don't think people would come and talk and also try to do the same thing because look if you're sitting if, if we're sitting here for an hour and a half doing a podcast that is a really hard time to fake it. That's like, and but I've also fallen in love with these kind of like bite-sized episodes of like these thirty-minute chunks. But there's a there's a weird there's a line of a, a thirty-minute threshold that I've noticed while I'm editing. Um, and and sometimes uh, I'll 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 notice it in the middle of a conversation. Well, after like a th- after like a thirty minute period, everybody feels comfortable. Even it happens to me too. Even though I've done this a bunch of times, I, even like I haven't done this for two weeks. I haven't been sitting in this chair for like two weeks. So the next person I'm gonna have up, I'm definitely gonna have to shake some shake some nerves off. And I'm I'm actually glad I'm doing this, I'm talking, pretending there's somebody in front of me. Really isn't anybody in front of me. <laughs> Nobody in this room. I gotta clean this freaking studio up before before I have my next guest, my next actual guest. Uh, what was I, what was I talking about? Okay, so this okay, so this is weird. There's this thirty minute threshold where everybody just kind of starts to feel comfortable, and so it's not it's not like the first thirty minutes is fake, but it's kind of understanding who we are and I'm I'm actually really surprised of how quickly that happens the, of the understanding between the people that I'm talking to that we're just hanging out and even if I never see you again we had a good time and whatever we said is documented thrown up on YouTube uh, a small moment in time that you can look back on of kind of see who you were that's something i don't like to do though i don't like to look back at some of the old podcasts i'll look back at some of the videos though i actually do enjoy going back and looking at some of my old old uh not even old i say old but it's it's only been two years feels like it feels like a freaking feels like yesterday feels like a lifetime ago uh, I actually do like going back, looking at some of those videos, because there usually is a lot of people that I'm interacting with that it's not this, like, set 
and setting that I have going on here uh, with the chairs, the microphones. Um, I feel like I don't I don't want to say that feels a little bit more uh, authentic, but like doing this, doing this thing of podcasting isn't really normal. I just I'm trying to capture what a regular conversation is like. Um, but the majority of the time people are it's always it, it's always in passing. People aren't sitting down uh, talking like this regularly. And people do. People do. I mean, that's why. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to encourage it. That's why I document it and put it out, you know, to uh, so hopefully other people will, would do the same and just, you know, spark conversations, like I said, whether it be nonsense or not, you know, politics, if you will, the weather, <laughs> gas prices. <laughs> uh some some fan favorites some fan favorite topics that's what that's what those are um but uh lost my train of thought again can you help me out yeah yeah i am going on a bunch of tangents how long has it been 20 25 minutes 25 minutes oh probably just wrap it up Honestly, I've just been uh, hopefully not spitting a lot of hot air. I think it was honestly just more just self-therapy, just airing ideas out that mm, things that you already know, slightly behind the scenes. Uh, oh, something that is actually interesting. Before, before I left, I had some friends come in here to record some music um i haven't seen them in a long time those are also some people that hopefully will be dropping soon they obviously recorded music here whether it be put out who knows you know i'm not the artist just tr just want to encourage them hopefully just provide a space for them uh i bought some new tan panels uh i put them in the closet cleaned out the closet and I believe what we're calling it now is the Barbie booth. I actually, wa I actually wanted to record this episode in there just to check the acoustics um, of what it sounded like. But I think I can still... I, I think I could throw in a couple, a couple more sweaters in there just because. Just to sound a little better, soundproof it. Uh, but clean it out. You could stand in there. You could do some jumping jacks if you wanted to. You know, if you're if you're that kind of uh, performer, hmm. maybe maybe next time I I do one of these episodes like this, I'll do it in there and I'll just stand. Maybe just hold the microphone. That's a good idea. I should do that. <laughs> and I think maybe maybe next time I'll I'll probably write out things of what I want to talk about, um, some points of interest. I mean, because doing this is tough without another without another person just bouncing ideas off of, just going off the dome. My favorite thing, though, is uh, taking a look at CoStar. I got it pulled up on my on my phone here. Uh, CoStar says, "Look at yourself from the opposite end of the telescope." Uh, that was okay, I guess. CoStar, you've done better. You've done better. Does it apply right now? Maybe if I thought about it hard enough, if I if I make it apply to myself right now, maybe it would. If I look at my okay, if I, I could take this literally, if I took, if I look at the end of the end of the telescope, if there's a telescope in front of me, I would I would look weird. You have seen that? Um, what is the uh, in the Little Mermaid with the with the bird, the pel bird pelican bird looks at the other end and then is it, it just looks all warped. I think what you're looking for is perspective. Uh, and I think I have done that though. At least that's why I mean that's why I like doing the mobile podcast setup is just kind of flipping what I do already, italicize a little sideways, a little different, uh, and then just trying to focus on. Not the way everything looks or sounds, like the qual the 
quality of the equipment, but hopefully the quality of the conversation doesn't doesn't change. Um, yeah, you know, I think I'll leave it off with that. Qual- more quality conversations coming. Um, if you like these, I will. I'll keep doing it. I like doing them. Um, so I mean, I don't see why why not. Maybe a little bit struck, a little bit more structured next time. Uh, yeah, go touch some grass. See you guys later.